Hello, welcome to Orion today. I'm your host, Play Marcel. Today we have with us Anne. Hello, Lanfear. Anne. Anne Lanfear. Hi, Hi Anne. Um, and what will we be doing today? We are going to have some fun and make a really easy painting that you can do yourself for decorating your house or paint with your kids. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of variations that you can have uh, depending on skill level and then learn how to mix some colors from primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue are the basis of all colors out there. Um, and darken up with black, lighten it up with white. And uh, so we're going to have some fun with that. All right. And this, all right. Is, this is the basic uh, picture that we're going to make. And I'm going to also, while we're going here, going to um, fix errors that I even made by going all around here. If you can see right here, there's a little bit of a dark shadow because mm -hmm. I went all the way around with the black. Um, so we're gonna uh, change that up a little bit. Um, that's why when we, when I did these ahead of time, just to save for time, you can use anything to create your um, moon. You can use a matte black, which is what you and I have now on these, or you can do a shiny one. It's a different type of uh, paint acrylic and it kind of made it look like it's got stars around it because it breaks up on the canvas You can see all okay. the little the speckling. I like that one. Um, you like the shiny mm -hmm. and the speckled one? Yeah, so that's what the original one was um, and uh, So I figured we try something else a little differently okay. um, So like I said uh, We started off here you can use a cup depending on if you want a small moon You can use a paper plate you can use just a half like it's a moon that's about to set, okay? Um, there's lots of variations. Just spray out the top, leave the bottom black or uh, blank, and we'll we'll get there. But that was why I wanted to leave it open here so we didn't get any cut throughs to our pumpkin. Okay. All right. Now, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use a small brush, maybe quarter inch, um, keep it dry. Gently tap it into some black, okay? Just a little bit at the ends. Let me clean some of it off. And we're just gonna put, um, because of course, the man on the moon, you wouldn't see with a little bit of, sh without a little bit of shading, all right? Just put it around. This is your moon, you can make it look any way you want. I know it looks weird, but it's gonna come out good. All right, and clean that off, put it, keep it in your water if you'd like. Now, we're gonna use about a one inch brush, okay? We're gonna dip it in the white. I'm gonna add a little water here in a minute, but first we're gonna do it this way, okay? And I just want you to kind of try to keep on the edge of the moon that's already there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just go around the edge because anything over into the black just makes it look like it's glowing. Just go all the way around. All right? You can add a, tear, a little bit of water, tap that off, and then just spread it around. And bring, that, bring that white all the way through. Get a little bit more white. Oh, mine's looking dark. Mm, this is relaxing. It is very nice. And a lot of times when you're stressed, it is, so I'm a very talkative person most times, which is kind of entertaining <laughs> um, because when I paint, I don't talk as much, um, which is sometimes hard for a show, but uh, it is. It's, it's kind of fun and relaxing and just let you kind of escape a little bit. Yeah, my it's moon, almost like I'm in a trance. My moon is definitely getting a little bit darker than I wanted, but that's okay. That's kind of the fun part. I'm just gonna add a bunch of white on mine. I just didn't like mine quite so dark. I need some light coming off of that moon. Mine's more looking like a planet. I'm okay with that. 
Maybe it's the maybe it's the planet where all the uh, ghosts and goblins are. <laughs> all the werewolves. Or the werewolves. There you go. Exactly. All right. I think that's about right right now. How's yours looking? Is yours looking more like a moon than mine does? Uh, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie. Honestly. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, right on. <laughs> no, it's all right. Okay, so you can rinse that off. Now, we're gonna do the pumpkins first um, because when we do the bottom, we're gonna let it overlap um, our pumpkin, okay? okay? So I would suggest um, something about the size of your fingertip. Um, maybe a little rounded, uh, either that one or I like, the, see that one right there? Yeah, that one. That's the one I would suggest. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of red, okay, and go into one of your yellows, because we don't need to use all of that, and don't even mix it up that much, okay? Um, we're going to go with the, if you want to do two pumpkins, some if you want to do three pumpkins, however you want to do it. I think I'm going to do one pumpkin this time. Um, what I do, uh, think of it like you're going to do a C, a C, and then uh, a backwards facing C. So we're going to do a C on this side, like this. All right, and then we're going to do a C on this side, like echoing it, okay? All right, and it doesn't matter because pumpkins have lots of different colors, all right? And then I just want you to like grab some yellow, maybe a little more yellow, and start at the top. Yeah. Start at the top, and I want you to just pull down and around like that, okay? Same thing next to that one, pull down and around. You can use a little more yellow, pull down and around and then go the opposite side. Don't come to the middle just yet. Go down and around. Pull down and around. Are you getting your, getting the stripes? Yeah. Right on. Yeah. That's what we're going for, is we want to have that variation in color and the stripes, and when you start coming to the middle, make them just slightly more straight up and down, mm -hmm. okay? So as you go in, the less curve there is. So you get something a little more like that. Right? All right. See? A little groovy here. It's a pretty pumpkin. It is a pretty pumpkin. Let's take a look at that so far. Very <laughs> nice. Right on. Okay. Now, do would you like to do two pumpkins? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then would we could go ahead and do that again. And uh, same thing. Um, I would make it a little bit smaller because, of course, they're stacked. And remember, the key is is that you're going over top of this one, but just a little bit. So you're going to make your C and come down and around and then go back the other side. Now, some people you could put uh, a cat's head, like a, a kitten on top of the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. um, with, a, with a witch hat? Exactly, okay. exactly. Um, which is almost the exact same shape. You know, it might be a little more heart-shaped in black or a little bit of brown in, in there um, with ears. But same thing. Just go around and curve, curve. Curve, curve. All right. And also at the top, you can just bring a line right across, okay? Just to kind of make that, instead of dipped in, mm. so like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, mine got out of hand. That's all right. Let's see, let's see. All right. Let's see, so far, so good. Oh no, that looks <laughs> great! That looks great, what are you talking about? is leaning. That's okay. So. Well, see, this is where we can fix that. Or, or, you could put a little pumpkin right at the bottom. Right over top. Do it right over top and a little pumpkin right there. But that is something that we can fix with our next phase, too. All right. 
Okay, so while we're letting that orange and yellow dry a little bit, now we're gonna go in, we can use the same, same, uh, same brush, clean it off fairly good, and use one of your towels and just dampen it off. <coughs> now, go into one of your clean yellows. All right, we're gonna use a lot of yellow here and some of one of your blues, all right? And get a get a decent decent green going. If you have to add a little more yellow, that's fine. Something like this. Okay. I'm gonna add a little more yellow to make it more yellowy. Um I added a little bit of black before because but it's like the smallest bit. It's really it's easy to do too much. But I just add a hair of black and watch what happens. It's gonna get really dark, okay? But we're gonna go over top of it, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill in everything on the bottom that is white, okay? Um, whatever landscape, and you can do it in just, yep, going back and forth. You can do some things like this, like to try and show some grass, things like that. Just texture, we're gonna go back over it with a lighter color um, to give you more texture, but for now, just you're just filling it in. All right, oh, I like the color. And because it's nighttime, that's why we're going with a, a little bit of a darker color. And just fill that in, and it's okay to go in front of the pumpkin, but if you're in front of the pumpkin, I like to do a little, a little wispy, just, just a little. And it's okay to pick up color from the pumpkin as well. Um, I'm okay with that because, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like reflecting. You know, you see different colors reflecting off the grass. You see like water, you see, you know what I mean? It's, it's nature is such a, a varied colors and brightness and fun. You go all the way to the bottom? I go all the way to the bottom. And like I said, just bring up little strokes, just teeny tiny, just to show the, like the effect or the hint of grass at the bottom. So you don't have a straight line. So you can see light here. Get that? Okay. All right, it's mine. Think that's good enough? Yeah, right on. No, no, that looks great. And then I would, I, you know what? I would leave it like that because what we're, we're gonna do, I kind of like that a little bit of a halo um, outside the, uh, the grass. Now, um, if you don't have enough, maybe make just a little bit more, maybe a little more yellow this time because we want to have uh, just a little more color, a little lightness to it. We're gonna start doing some things that are a little uh, lighter. So I, like on this one, you can just bring it straight up like a, a corn stalk. You know, something, something growing there. You can, uh, and a corn stalk is basically just a, just a V. Or I mean, a, a ear of corn, just a V. You know, a couple leaves coming off of it. Super simple. Um, and you can add a little more yellow and do some more light hairs, like the ever so lightly. Just across the bottom. Okay, now, how are we doing? Because I want to switch, we're still gonna use the same green but I'm gonna to switch to a smaller brush like this. Very nice. So let's, we're gonna to switch to a smaller brush. And same thing, a lot more yellow, right back into that green. We're pulling a lot more yellow, okay? And this is where you can do like a tuft of grass. Here, take a look at this. So, I'm gonna turn it just okay. a little bit, okay? So just little tufts of grass. You can do it like on where you see that the pumpkin's leaning. 
you can just put a little bit of a little extra grass. A little it bit of extra grass, <laughs> exactly. Honestly, like this one, I picked up a little of the orange, and I actually don't mind it. Just remember, these are fall colors. And bring that right up in front of the pumpkin. Sometimes you can do a little bit of crisscrosses here. And I like, I like vines for my pumpkin. So you can do, I usually do it from, from uh, this area here, you know, or on this side, and you can just do a little squiggly line and a little leaf like that. Little leaf like that. All right. Then take that same color. And I just want you to put a stem right up at the top of your pumpkin, whatever size you want. And when you're done with that, I want you to clean that little brush off. All right, now, because we're getting close to the end of our time, I just want to show a couple little things that you can do. You're gonna take your, still that little brush. Yep, dap off some water, and I want you to go straight into the black. Kind of load it up. You can get some excess off so you don't get any clumps. But I want you to come from the come from the black, and I just want you to bring it across like that. And you can add some branches here. Just go right across because the black you don't know where these where these trees are. Um, any angle you can do something down here depending on how big the tree is sometimes I like to put like a little silhouette of an owl up in the tree and then <laughs> for the main course you can leave it just like this, all right? Or just take that same pen or brush and you can put your little face on one or both of your pumpkins. I generally do happy faces. Some kids like scary faces. Mm, mine are sleepy faces. There. Leaning over. All right. But like I said, those three colors can create any colors that you want. And uh, I hope you guys have fun making this. You can add owls, you can add bats, um, anything that you want. Because with this background, uh, you have the opportunity to do any silhouettes that you want to create a mood. And um, how much would you say all of this would cost for, like, a, say, a single mother with a bunch of children? Is well, the you know the canvases you can get like four packs for like five to ten dollars. Always look for sales at like Michaels or other or other supply stores. Like right now, I know you can buy paints. Um, there is more expensive paints, but even poster paints, uh, you know, can cost two ninety nine. But you know, you're getting a bigger, bigger, a bigger thing. These are a little bit more expensive paints. But this one's like four or five bucks. But that's why I say you get those primary colors. You get three of the main colors, black and white. So that's five colors. You can make any color you need. Okay. Right well, on. there you go. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, thank you, Anne, for showing us a good way to have fun um, during the season. Yeah. Um, and we'll we'll be right back with another show. Stick around.
ON TV invites you to take part in our 10 week video production class. The class meets on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offers instruction on studio production, field production, and non linear editing. Upon completion of the class, you get access to ON TV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. The cost is $30 for Lake Orion residents, $60 for non residents. For more information, give ON TV a call at 248 393 1060 or visit orionontv.org today. And welcome back. We're continuing with our show, uh, Orion Today. And we have um, Andrew Walker from Motor City uh, Market. Market. Yep, Motor City Market. Yep. Yeah, yeah, my name's Andrew Walker, and I just brought some things uh, to show today and uh, to show, uh, to get your opinion on what they may, might be worth and also for just the viewing pleasure of uh, you at home and in, uh, in the audience. So I came into s some of these objects uh, recently. Um, my aunt is moving out of her house, which is the house um, my, that my grandparents bought in Pontiac in 1954, and I came across Th things from many, many decades, but this is a vintage 1973 Michigan license plate. Wow. Hey, like, take a look at this. <laughs> and it's it's in pretty good shape. I it's got a slight bend in it, and I could polish it, but it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. If it's 50 years old. Do you know what I like? That uh, uh, Michigan uh, used to use uh, some great uh, quotes about. Uh, the, the new one is uh, Water Wonderland yep. and Winter. Right? Yeah, Winter Wonderland and Water Wonderland because we have over, I believe, 60,000 lakes within Michigan. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's not counting the Great Lakes either. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how much do you think that would go on the market? Um, well, this is a, a, a very curious um, thing. I think it could cost uh, like a hundred Oh, wow. Dollars. Oh, wow, that was more than I was expecting. Well, thank you. Let's see what else I have. Okay, uh, this is a cassette tape of uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers album called Blood Sugar Sex Magic that had the famous songs uh, Suck My Kiss, uh, Give It Away, everyone knows that one, Under the Bridge. How much do you think that would go for today? Oh, okay. Even when, when we don't use uh, cassettes anymore, and, and, and or, or, or s they might come back. Hey, yeah. look at look at how vinyl has come back. Yeah, but that might be another fifteen years, I think. Yeah, but <laughs> th this is what at uh, um, a cost to this cassette, and that's a great uh, music that we have. Yes. Uh, from yeah. the 90s. Great. I, yeah, I love the Chili Peppers. The I'd chili like to peppers. see them live someday, but I haven't yet. But yeah. You should probably get like um, 50. Oh, 50 wow. For that. 50. 50 wow. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, this is an old, old harmonica, you know, that you play with your mouth. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I was looking for an inscription on it for anything, but I... I know every once in a while my, my, my grandpa would play a, uh, a few times. I remember very small, but I don't remember if it was the same harmonica. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, an advice. Maybe if you try to polish. Yes. Yeah, you could see it's kind of green. Yeah. Be, yeah. So um, maybe not here, but um, uh, you, you can get like $5 for... Okay. okay. You, you make a, a Great. good polish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Five dollars. What else do we have in here? Okay, this is an unopened can of Pabst Blue Rib Ribbon uh, from the mid 1970s. Um, I found this in, in the basement, unopened. Uh, so yeah, that's the real deal. Oh. Please don't open it. Do <laughs> yeah. you know? Uh, you know what, what? What is the story of of uh, of, of cans? Uh, was a Frenchman. I don't remember uh, his name, 
But Mike, uh, M Michelle Ken. And then they named it after him. Yeah. No, I'm. No, no, <laughs> no. no. Uh, but he helped the Napoleon's army. Oh, okay. For, because he provided um, this. Uh, this was like a, a, a new thing in, in, in the. In the and so it helped uh, them transport food that way, maybe, yeah. and keep it longer? Keep it longer. Ah. And, and this is why the French uh, were so su successful in. Uh, during his During conque conque yeah. conquests? So Napoleon, wow, I did not know Napoleon that. Uh, um, gave him uh, like a condecoration and, and money, of course. That's a great invention. I have to look that up. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Um, so what do you think? Huh? Wow. Can I? No, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Well, you can get like... Uh, um, Five hundred dollars. Whoa, five hundred dollars! I might do that and pay yeah, off my because car. Because the H is really. <laughs> really <old. laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Oh, we have. The, I have this uh, old baby doll from the nineteen sixties. You know what? I was a little bit scared because uh, when 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 I see the the doll from this side, I thought it was like Annabelle or. or or Chucky, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it, as you can see on its bib, its name is Baby Secrets. Baby Secrets. Now, now pull that. Wow. <laughs> Could you understand that? Yeah. No, I'm going to repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she said, don't talk so loud. Isn't that creepy? Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of it's like, very creepy. <laughs> like imagine that thing coming alive at night and yeah, yeah. I should probably drop her. Yeah, far or, away from yes, <laughs> and and bury her at least six six feet under. Yeah, I mean, I didn't understand that one. She said, "Let's whisper." So, so uh, n n negative 500. <laughs> n n minus, <laughs> minus 500. <laughs> because I, I, I should probably put her far away from her. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, <laughs> we'll get rid of her. Uh, uh, this is what they gave my uh, grandfather uh, after 25 years of service at General Motors. Uh, February 25th, 1978, to Carl H. Walker, worked at Fisher Body in Pontiac. That's my grandfather. And then I found this unique certificate showing that how he owned four stocks in General Motors. Wow. That's from the 70s. Just this really random stuff that I would have never come across. <laughs> So I know it's 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 personal things, but it's yeah. also I think very, very uh, uh, human and unique. Yeah. You know, we were glad to to have you here, um, Andrew. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, yeah. it was very fun. Uh, we will have this program um, on, on, on on our channel and and and, and YouTube. Yes. So because you you can watch it there. Yep. And, and we will, it will be a pleasure to have you here another day. Okay, well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Uh, this is your program, Orion Today, and I hope you had a, a great time, and you can see us tomorrow. Mm -hmm.